Hey guys, I'm Philo and welcome to the show. It's been a little while since I've done a quake video. I've been exceedingly busy in real life and uh, the state of the game has been a little bit interesting with the whole clutch meta, but that is all fixed now. The new patch is really good. I've been playing again and actually having fun playing again, which is really, really nice to be able to say. Uh, the game's in a much better state. Games are popping much more frequently. I recommend you get in and check it out. There was a new dev stream last night though, and that's what I'm here to talk about because there are a few tiny little details that I don't think anyone else has really picked out yet. And I think these were very deliberate nods to new things. Okay, so the big two things here come from the uh, the Gib demo showreel, and let's take a look at the first. This funny little indicator in the top right hand corner of the screen, this to me screams demo playback. Uh, I think, you know, this is a great feature, I think it is something they're working on, it's something that would be really great to have so that games don't just get lost in Twitch VODs forever. Uh, this overlay here, the thing that kind of points me towards it being a demo playback is this kind of frame and time indicator, like it's playing something back, right? Um, the fact that it shows a ping and a packet loss, you know, kind of this network information, might mean that it's just general debug information, but I can imagine in demos that data being recorded as well and being able to be played back. This seems like the kind of thing that could have easily been accidentally left on, but I'd be surprised if this wasn't left in on purpose to kind of wet our whistles about what's to come. And similarly, something much more deliberate here, we have this marker over the clutch in this GIB demonstration. This looks like a map ping, right? Like in team modes, you'll be able to pull it up and say, hey, focus your attention on this point. Uh, I'm sure I've played a first person shooter that's had markers like this recently. I can't think what it is. It might be Overwatch or something, but you know, if you've played like RTS games and MOBAs, that kind of map style ping is a really great way to communicate with your team. They added voice chat into Quake Champions and curiously no one seems to use it. The developers have even noted that no one seems to use it. So moving towards more non-verbal communication, uh, four ways to coordinate your teams might be what Quake players are actually looking for. And in fact, even in old Quakes, uh, people kind of you know modified the game so that we could use chat tokens. So you could put like a special token and when you chatted a certain message bound to a certain key, it would perform substitutions for things like your current stack or your location or a gun. So you could say dropped whatever weapon you currently have out for a friend. Uh, and, and use this style of nonverbal communication so you're not constantly cluttering up the verbal comms. And for some reason this seems to be preferred in Quake, just naturally, even for new players coming into the game. It's very, very interesting. Uh, but this there is no way this was accidental, you know, this was very, very deliberate. And again here, we have the little demo overlay. There were some other things in here as well. There was this kill screen thing. When you die, you're gonna get shown. I don't want to call it a death cam because it's not like a Call of Duty death cam where you see like the replay of who killed you and how. But uh, seeing the stack of the person who killed you and seeing where they were, this might be a nice little thing for newer players coming into the game, you know, getting a bit more context for their deaths. If they're thinking, wow, I dealt so much damage to that guy, how is he not dead? And then seeing actually, wow, he still had like 100 HP, then maybe they'll think, okay, he must have had items, he must have had something else, I don't know. I think it's a good thing overall, as long as we don't have this in competitive modes. Uh, I don't want to be able to see the stacks of people who killed me in competitive modes. I think this would take away from the skills of map awareness and just, you know, generally being able to read people's stacks. So hopefully this is just a casual thing they're adding in to facilitate people coming into the game. I think that's a good way to introduce this. There was also this little screen shown in one of the intermissions and, uh, I mean, they kind of had all these shots of other maps and some close-ups of the backdrops of other maps, but I cannot for the life of me think what map this is the backdrop to. It's the right colour to be Tempest Shrine, but I had a bit of a fly around Tempest Shrine as Pika and, I mean, Unless this is like an, an intense close-up of some details of the shrine that aren't visible to a human eye, I don't think this is from Tempest Shrine, so uh, maybe getting some new map details teased here, some new like theming and stuff to come. I don't know, if you know what map this is from, let me know. Alright, so this has been a quick look at just some of the little details shown in this developer stream. I think this is a really good direction for the developer streams. If they can just have some fun with it, tease us with some little details, give us, you know, a bit of an easter egg hunt to go on. That'll be it for now. I uh, thank you very much for watching. I definitely have some more videos and maybe even some live streams again uh, planned soon. It all depends on how stuff goes over the next few weeks. We do have BAM10 in Melbourne coming up, an actual in-person Quake event. Get on Discord if you want more details for that. I'll link the Discord below. Uh, if you've played Quake Champions before and you weren't so happy with the state of it, I recommend you get back in and give it another try now. It's definitely in a much, much better place. Uh, like I said, I'm enjoying it again, and I'd been a bit iffy on actually playing it for a while. So, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Phylum, and until next time.